just real quick, let's just do a quick uh, definition of what farm pre-sales are and then what that model looks like and if it is going to be changing, why? So I, I suppose if you, uh, we would take a pretty simple definition of a pre-sale would be, um, the film is not yet made. Uh, mm -hmm. You need to raise financing from various sources. You know, there's mm -hmm. obviously angels and angel investors, banks, but mm -hmm. in order to support those various institutions and to get the cash, um, having a pre-sale is, is a very, very important part of this for the major foreign markets. Mm -hmm. um, because your US deal would, would most likely be in place or, or you know, pre-sales happen quite late on in the project, even though it still might be a script, you, you should have cast attached um, and some financing in play to be able to, to, to get those deals done. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you would go to the major international players, uh, France, UK, Germany, Spain, um, China, if you're lucky enough to be able to get a film in there. Um, so these big, big markets who are pre-sales, Japan as well, uh, who would buy films in advance of them being made, who would be happy to take those risks. Um, and we're not talking about big blockbusters, you know, we're not talking about Tom Cruise kind of cast where everybody would take it. It's something yeah. a little bit more uh, in, a, in a range that's a little bit more, uh, could be a risk, let's say. Mm -hmm. um, and they would, they would promise to pay you the money up front. They'd pay you. 5% cash and then they'll pay you upon delivery uh, depending on whatever it is the, mm -hmm. the deal is um, negotiated okay. as but that's pretty much the the gist of it 